I can finally say that the 10th season of American Horror Story has begun filming after nine months of halted production. That's right, cameras have begun rolling on the mysterious installment that was supposed to begin filming back in March. And with filming happening, we are starting to get some new details about the season. But before I get into that, I would just like to say that this video was made possible thanks to the support of my channel members. And you too can become a channel member for as low as 99 cents a month and receive early access to videos and exclusive videos every month. Last month's exclusive video was an interesting one where I uh, opened The Sims 4 and made some AHS characters and made them compete against each other. So if you're a member and you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out because it has some important information about the Discord server. But anyway, let's talk about the leaked working title of Season 10 of American Horror Story. And I say leaked in quotations because this tends to happen almost every year. Because AHS likes to keep their real titles a secret, they shoot and have all the production material under a false title. These pretty much leak every year once filming starts to begin, and sometimes they have very little to do with what the season's actually about, but other times they're kind of spot on to what the theme of the season is. Okay, so Production Weekly is this weekly newsletter that lists a bunch of registered movies or TV shows that are filming currently. And just this last week, AHS appeared once again because it has begun filming. Only this time, it was under the working title of AHS Pilgrim. So there's obviously a lot to theorize about what that could potentially mean, and believe me, I'm about to do that, but first, let me give you some context. This is pretty similar to how the working title of Season 8 was leaked back in 2018, with Production Weekly posting a newsletter with the working title of American Horror Story Radioactive. Only that time, that subtitle of Radioactive had actually leaked prior to that because 20th Century Fox had registered the trademark of American Horror Story Radioactive for some reason, and that got leaked. But the season just prior to that, which ended up being called Cult, was filmed under the working title of Cul-de-sac. So this has a little bit less to do with, with that season's theme than season 8's working title did, aside from the suburban neighborhood setting and the first three letters of cul-de-sac. But I hope you're seeing that the working title that we did get could potentially be a pretty huge hint towards the season, or it could be a more vague, backhanded clue. But now let's theorize about it. So given that the season was originally supposed to be filmed in Provincetown, Massachusetts, and now with the word pilgrim in mind, the obvious connection that must be made is the pilgrims of Plymouth County, Massachusetts who were English settlers that uh, traveled to North America on the Mayflower and uh, established Plymouth County in 1620. Now, contrary to popular belief, Plymouth County was not actually the original landing place of the Pilgrims. It was actually none other than Provincetown, Massachusetts, the very town where AHS-10 is potentially meaning to be taking place in. The Mayflower actually found the Cape Cod region, which consists of Provincetown, before settling at Plymouth. So the season's connection to Massachusetts and this working title of Pilgrim obviously have something to do with each other. Another interesting aspect of Provincetown's history that I came across uh, was that a certain area of the town once had the nickname of Helltown. The area may have gotten the name from being a major hub of the fishing industry with hellish working conditions, or during the 1600s, the fishermen began to take up drinking, gambling, and smuggling, which could have also been the origin of that nickname. Now, if you're thinking of the AHS timeline, this happens just about 30 years after the real Roanoke colony in North Carolina was found abandoned. So we've not quite been focused in this exact time period in a season of American Horror Story, so I wonder if this working title of season 10 could be a hint that it will be a period piece set in Massachusetts in the 17th century. Or perhaps like Roanoke, it will combine period scenes with modern day scenes as well. Another interpretation of this working title is that it is not a reference to any specific group of settlers, but instead a more figurative meaning of the word pilgrim. The word pilgrim is defined as a traveler or someone who has come from afar who is on a journey to a holy place. So my mind naturally goes back to the witchcraft elements of the American Horror Story lore, and I specifically think of the journey that Michael Langdon went on in the second half of Apocalypse. It was basically his spiritual journey into fulfilling the prophecy of becoming the Antichrist. I am a sucker for the witches, so I would love if season 10 built on the lore of the witches, and I'm very interested of what they were up to in the 17th century, so potentially this season could be about 17th century witches, perhaps journeying across the continent, uh, either in escape from persecution or in pursuit of other witches, or maybe starting an organized coven. I think the early history of witches in American Horror Story has been obviously referenced and very briefly explored, but I would personally love a season that strongly focuses on this. 
Obviously, these elements that I'm theorizing about wouldn't be the only elements of season 10 if any of these turn out to be true. So the heavily speculated ocean, siren, urban legend, body modification theories that I have talked about on this channel could very well still be at play in a season that has these elements in it as well. Obviously, there are a ton of possible interpretation of this working title, so please be sure to let me know what it has you thinking of in the comments below. I'd love to know all your theories, and uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed for more AHS 10 news and horror-related coverage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.